hey folks price is wrong and uh, going to do some more raid it's my lunch break so uh, lunchtime raid here we go All right, let's see here. Get my music system going. All right, sweet. Let's see where I'm at right now. Because I know that's what the million dollar question is, right? Everybody wants to know, um, how's my raid going? Well, currently, my overall score is 87.9 million. 88 million, right? And, uh, <clears throat> see, I spent a bunch. I'm at 22.9 right now. Uh, prizes that I've claimed. <clears throat> I've claimed the um, Phantom Tiger Shark. Hey, Josh. That's gone alright, man. Except for the fact that I'm at work. But it was kind of nice getting up early. I'm not going to lie. I, I never thought I, in the world, I, I never thought I'd ever say that. But it was actually nice getting up early. I actually enjoyed getting up early. I got my, uh, so I got my Phantom Tiger Shark. I got my Harlock Aegis. Right now I'm going in on my regular Aegis. And, uh, that's what I'm zeroing in on. I don't know, there are a couple other things I would like to get. You know, like I said, I wouldn't mind having a Valkyrie Carrier. I wouldn't mind getting at least one Banshee. A fleet of Banshees would be great. But, um, the Valkyrie Carrier, if, if I build a guard, you know, I think it would come in handy. So if I even had just one just sitting there, uh, Valkyrie would be nice to have. I think the Banshee, if I could get a whole fleet, it'd be great. But, uh, if I only got one... It would be a great decoy for um, other boats, just because it stays under so long. For ranking and stuff like that, it'd be just outstanding. Um, so there's that. I wouldn't mind having uh, a Visago prototype hunter, man. About 45 million points, man. Oh my God, that's steep. Yeah, I don't have the Borbas either. I don't have a Borbas Gore Saber either, but um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm not a big base hitter, you know? I would like to defend my base again. Uh, before I ever get big into hitting bases again, I want to be able to defend my base. You know? I really do. I want to be able to defend my base. That's like the next thing on my list, you know? I, if I can keep the, stay on top of chores, I'd love to be able to defend my base again one day. Probably should have stayed over there. I need an 80 and an 83. I probably got a few 86s stacked, to be honest with you. Alright. Oh, best lunch, by the way. <clears throat> Go to 7 Eleven. Big gulp and a quarter pound hot dog, chili and cheese, for two bucks. Two dollars. Great deal. Great, great deal. Just saying. Love it. I'm all about them deals, man. All about them deals. I like my deals. Mary, you.
You're gonna put four Harlocks in your base with the new with the new drone? I don't know if that's a good idea, man. I don't know. Maybe if you get them ranked up, you know what? Actually, I've got the Harlocks. You just gotta have some sub detection, you know. Heck, if you had four, um, of those Valkyries, man, if you had four of those Valkyries with that on there, and you had the sub, sub detection built in all the way around, man, them things would hit hard. You're going for the Jack Carrion Bombers and maybe a Reaper? You know, if you can get a Tiger Shark, I would not even bother with a Reaper, man. I would not bother with it. If you get the Tiger Shark, I wouldn't bother with a Reaper. No offense against Reaper, it was great. It was the uh, best prep hole for the longest time, but uh, it's not anymore. The Tiger Shark is awesome. I'm just saying. Not that I'm, I'm not like a pitch man or anything. I'm just saying. It's Tiger Shark is a better Nighthawk than a Nighthawk, and it's a better Reaper than a Reaper. It's, that's that's what I'll say. Tiger Shark's where it's at. Hey, White Star. Well, that's what I'm saying. Your Valkyries have got sub-detection, but didn't you say Harlocks? Oh, you said two Valks and three Harlocks. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I hear you there, man. I hear you. I get it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I get it. I really do. Oh, it's Dirty Harry. <clears throat> oh, well, when it comes to sub fighting, man, quite honestly, I mean, he, he remembers the time I killed Nighthawks with my Reapers. You know, it's all about the driver. The driver, man, uh, of, the, of the subs, man. The driver makes a big, makes all the difference in the world. I mean, you should never be able to kill Nighthawks with three first, man. But I've done it. Man, I might have screwed up right there. All right, he blew up. I'm good. Man, I, 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 you know, if you watch some of my old sub videos, Cyborg, I'm, I'm, I think, I think I'm a good sub fight trainer, man. I think I'm a good trainer. I got sub fighting down, man. It's a science. That would be a cool badge. <laughs> Ghost Crawler Graveyard. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's I can't help you with that, buddy. I can't I can't help you stay awake during sub fights. <laughs> I, I can't do that. You need caffeine, man. Some espresso, man. Some strong coffee, man. Something. Hopefully, uh, you don't. You're not partaking on anything that will make you sleep. Make you want to sleep more. Uh oh, I went too deep. Too deep. 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 I know there's some uh, activities that can make you tired. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, man. Nighthawks aren't supposed to... Reapers aren't supposed to kill Nighthawks. It's not supposed to happen. What am I going to do with the Frosty? I don't know, man. I don't know, bud. I gotta think about it. Maybe I'll just keep it as a backup, or maybe I need to change the build a little bit, make it so it's useful with something else. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it did feel really good, though, man. Somebody's trying to be a douche, man, and injure me. Of course, he did say he was set up afterwards. Somebody set him up and told him a lie. Said I was like sinking fleets or something like that over in their sector. I don't even know where their sector was, but and put him up to come and uh, to sink my fleet. MVP put you to sleep. Okay. I just did. I need an 80 now. Well, I don't know. The whole point of having the Aegis, the I think the Aegis is going to be have a, a bigger long term. I think it's going to have a longer uh, lifespan than the Harlock Aegis. And I only say that because the Aegis will always be useful against, you know, in any fleet, right? Because it can go anywhere. But if what if they come out with, like, this super new awesome flagship? You know what I mean? I can't put a Harlock Aegis with it. You know what I mean? Um, if they, uh, I can put an Aegis with it, but I can't put a Harlock Aegis with it. That's why I want to get another Aegis. Or, or just get an Aegis. I'm just trying to think, you know... Not to mention, I mean, I could potentially end up using it maybe one day to help ranking with ranking or something. You know, and it'll be a it's countermeasure hole, right? So I can put it in with uh, instead of a countermeasure Triton, I'll just put it in with. Uh, put something else in there, you know. Or I put that in there instead of a countermeasure Triton. Sorry, man. I'm like driving. I can't think and drive. could potentially do that, but put both Aegis in one fleet. I'm just saying, you know, that's why I want a regular Aegis. I just see the regular Aegis as being, it's very valuable. It's a very valuable hull. Got a couple volleys off. I'm gonna have a rough time, man. When I get older, boy, it's like all of my knuckles are like sore in my hands all the time. Isn't that terrible? You can just always feel the tension in them. I have a rough time. 
All that knuckle cracking, man, my grandmother said I needed to stop doing. Should have listened. If you, if you, I'd cut, I'd go Harlock Aegis, man. But that's just me. That's that'd be an easy choice for me. I wouldn't mind having a Vorbis, but you know, I don't hit bases like you do either, so. Uh, the Borbas, because that's got that, like, pinch overload deal, right? That does the whole base. I remember that was the one where, <laughs> when they, it got released, and the one guy put out a video of killing the whole guy's base parked at the opening of the channel. I thought that was, video was hilarious. That was an amazing video. Working as intended. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, it was White Star's video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was White Star's video. Yeah, that was great, man. You think about over the years, man. Uh, when BP dies, man, we're going to miss it, man. We are. We are definitely going to miss Battle Pirates if it ever dies. I mean, that's the whole reason we stick around now, man. Really, is, if you think about it, is really just for the uh, for the memories, you know. We, it's all uh, oh crap. What did I manage to save? Two subs. I saved two subs. One and a half subs. I saved one. I lost three subs right there. Oops. But I got him. <laughs> yeah, they need some gamers, man. They need gamers, dude. They need gamers to come in there and, like... You know, uh, they, they need the quality guys. So they need guys to join their game and play their game on their test servers and figure out ways to break it. I don't know why they don't have that. Yeah. I don't know why they don't have that. They need it. that would break the game. Hey, TLA, keepy. Yeah, he definitely seemed to be lacking in that department. Well, you know, I don't, I think the, I, I, I kind of, um, I think stumbled on the reality of it all last night. Um, 
I know you weren't on here last night, Cyborg, but I um, we were talking about it last night. I'm like, I said, the game is plenty fun. Um, the game has got so many elements that are uh, have just so much potential, right, for being fun. But the issue really is that uh, they put such a freaking high pr uh, premium on that that uh, most of us can only sit back and watch. It's just like, you know, being on a diet, you know, and watching, uh, you know, you eating a salad, man, and then your your partner or whoever you're with, your family members are eating pizza. I mean, how frustrating is that? You know, it's only, and, and most of us, you got, got basically 90% of us are on a diet right now. 95% of us are on a diet. Heck, I'm, I'm sure even even the guys like uh, maybe like Josh Sumter here in White Star, maybe maybe they uh, would actually like to have more pizza. You know, maybe they don't get all the pizza they want either. Hey, Keepy. It's going, man. I wouldn't mind having a slice of pizza every now and then, you know, a little bit of fun. I wouldn't mind every now and then. It'd be great. I'm tired of eating salad. Yeah, yeah. Hey, expectations is really a big deal, right? I mean, it's like, you know, if you spend any kind of money on this game, you do expect a little value in return, you know? And, and it's it's like there's all cost and just the value. I mean, any value, the only way to get any value is to spend just crazy money, man. That's the only way to get any value in this game. It's, it's it, The game's just gotten out of control. It's gotten out of control, man. There's going to be a better UAV in the weekly. There, there is a special a UAV special coming out in the weekly. Remember, it's a UAV battery. And we've been debating on what it's going to do. Uh, Extreme and some other folks on the show. Yeah, if I got that, that Pisago prototype hunter thing man I might actually have to build my fleet or something man I might have to do something but it's got that subsonic cavitator thing built into it man and it's like to have that with no weight my cat's like bugging you can tell it's like home alone man it just loves people man it loves people Oh, 
it looks like White Star's up there hitting some Scourge. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe my level, maybe I just got like, I don't know, man. It's like, you know, you can't play the same way. Maybe that's what it is. It's just all the bases got to be so high level and you got all this crazy tech. And I mean, obviously the game's just gotten nuts. I said, man, they never intended for this game to go on like they did. It just wasn't modeled to last as long as it did. And that's obvious now. People love this game, though, man. They really do. People have to just go to drastic measures to keep themselves from getting back on it. Scrapping their bases and all their hulls. Uh, they do. I know, uh, I know somebody who just did it like a couple of days ago. People, I mean, it, people, it's an addiction, man. People love this game, man. They love it. Kicks eye, man. It's just, they, I know they, they recognize that it's a gold, man, but they could do so much to make this game successful, man. I mean, they could make themselves, they, they wanted to be Zynga. They could, they could be Zynga with this game, you know? They could do it. Five dollar boats, man. That's what we were just talking about yesterday, right? Five dollar boats. They made, um, you know, all of the boats where you could build a whole boat in a day. Five dollars to speed it up. Have a fleet full of five dollar boats. You know, people would be, uh, people would be enjoying the game, man. People would be having fun. We were mentioning that there would have hundreds of millions, I'm sorry, hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of players. It'd be a lot more work on their side, but man, that money would be rolling in. We were just talking about that yesterday. Put the hackers out of business, man. People be selling their hacks for thirty bucks or whatnot, and uh, you know why hack, man? You get a whole fleet, man, for the same price. Why hack? Yeah, it was a fun conversation we had, man, last night. It was pretty good.
good conversation. Yep, if I were CEO of Kixai, this would be my vision. Be make it work, folks. Make it work. Let's do this. Do the same thing with War Commander. I don't even know what all the challenges are in War Commander. I really I don't, but... I'm just saying, whatever the challenges are with War Commander, do the same thing. Hey, Battlestar. Yeah, you'd be happy with $100 fleets, is because then you could still coin to win. Right? People wouldn't be able to just, like, instead of spending five bucks on a ship a day, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, $100 is too much, man. $100 is too much. I'm just saying, we need to get some skill back in this game. Yeah, if you if you made ships uh, fleets a hundred bucks or whatnot, then you uh, there's enough people out there that wouldn't do it where you'd still have an e easy time pounding people. Yeah, hackers have always been a bigger problem in War Commander than they've ever been in Battle Pirates. People on Battle Pirates, man, oh my gosh, man. And the hackers over there are so blatant. They are so blatant. And every, like, super mega everything, uh, they are, like, freaking hacking them over there like crazy, man. All of the the, the elite uh, um, weapons and stuff that, you know, only, like, a limited few people are supposed to have access to, they got access. They are very blatant over there. They need to have like a database, right, of players, I think, that are authorized to have, you know, uh, certain whatevers, you know, user IDs. And if these, if these people basically are spitting them out and their user IDs aren't on that freaking list, then they're banned. Well, they might have that already. I might not, just probably just don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I don't play War Commander. My base, I just got a notification that somebody hit my base yesterday and things was probably already flat. Well, I don't know if it was flat and I don't know why anybody would hit it, but. Hey, Jeff Beard, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, it needs to not be pay to win, man. They need to have skill in the game, man. I, I don't have a problem with, uh, you know, a little bit of spending to have some fun, man. But you got to get some value. If you expect people to spend, you got to give them value. And time is money, I'm just saying. So if they just come in, they spend time on your game, man, it, it, sh it should count. I don't know if that means paying your, your people to play your game or what, but with your fictitious currency.
but yeah, man, you get hundreds of thousands, half a million people, man, giving kickside five dollars a boat, man. I mean, you're never going to get that kind of numbers, but you get a lot more people coining for sure because you're giving them value. People don't mind spending if they're getting value. I mean, I know a lot of people want value for free, right? But I mean, maybe you can get that too. Get some. What? What? Run. Uh, bad, 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 bad. Oh, man. That was so freaking close. Man, that scared the Jesus out of me. House kicks doing on the report card? I don't know. I don't know, man. I uh, I have to, I have to work on that, man. I um, I mean, I could tell you overall what my feelings are of the changes they made. I, I, I really am very happy that they actually made a, like a real step in the right direction. Uh, I mean, you know, that part is really cool. But uh, I don't think this stuff was enough. And they still have yet to address the build times. So. Yeah, incomplete. That's a good one. Nah, well, the whole value for free thing, I was just saying, you know, what if they actually did pay people and. For fictitious currency just for getting on you know like if you got like uh, you know one piece of gold a day or you know uh, maybe a piece of gold every hour you played 10 cents an hour type deal you know it doesn't have to be a lot it's just a little bit that you can use towards you know other things in the game something like that that's what I'm talking about value for free Hey Paul, how's it going? I'm gonna kill this thing, so I gotta get to work. Oh, congrats, Paul. That's awesome.
Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, Josh. I don't know, buddy. Man, I still got another 86 stacked. That's amazing. out just in case somebody kind of decides they want to come in and snipe, snipe my dog, have something to play with. Excuse me. Yeah, but the problem with compromising with Kixai is that they don't never come halfway. They, we're lucky if we get 10% out of them. You know what I mean? Seems like they, they never want to come halfway. They always want to, you know, because I usually when I approach them, I approach them with a compromise, right? And, uh, but they, they only come like 10%, you know? I'm like, come on, man, 50%. They don't do that, though. Yeah. Make sure my stuff is still all right. Good, good, good. good. All right, scoreboard. Let's see where I'm at. I'm at 92.3 million. All right. Gus rounded up to 92.4. Um, 92.4 million. Globally, I'm at 4,927th place. That's amazing. Now, a leader of 583 million points is nuts. Of course, it's a PPP player. <laughs> of course, it is. I'm not going to say anything else about that. I'm just going to leave that alone. The the top uh, 101, 101st player, 333 million. Everybody in the top 100 has broken 300 million. Wow, that's all I can say. Currently, I have uh, 27 million. Look at that, 27. Which just means I probably got enough where I could go ahead and get that Aegis if I want it. Oh, I'm in the wrong tier. Look at that. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Bam. Guess what I got? I got an Aegis. I got an Aegis. I got a Harlock Aegis. I'm happy. I'm happy. And I got my Phantom Tiger. So that's three prizes I got so far. Pretty happy. Alright. Well, anyway, folks, let me do shout outs real quick. Alright. All right, Dirty Harry's on here. He's been quiet. He's probably at work or something. Josh Sumter, White Star, uh, Backpack 99, Cappuccino Man, Captain JS 63, Cyborg 2014, uh, G Daddy D, Huskers BP. Hey, hey, welcome back, Huskers man. It was fun last night, man. It was a fun night. Jeff Beard, John Pitchers one, uh, Kelvin aired uh, 13, Paul Bestwick Foxo, Stifler's mom, and TLA Keepy. Now, um, last night's episode, or episode, last night's stream is on YouTube. Okay, I, I got it up there. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot more stuff to get, though, still. I'm not done trying yet. I'm not done getting prizes. Um, I don't know. I may end up, uh, maybe I will end up taking that Jack Carrier in that, uh, the new UAV. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll do that. I, um, but in Tier 5... You know, like I said, I still want to get, um, I still want to get at least one Banshee, 
uh, at least one Valkyrie carrier. And, uh, and, and, and maybe the Fosago. But if I can get a whole fleet of Banshees, then I want to do that. If I can get a whole fleet of Banshees in that, I'll, I want to do that. So anyway, um, but you folks take care. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with me on my lunch break. Um, it's, it went by very, very quickly. Uh oh, no damage Vanguard video is being posted. I can't wait to see it. Y'all have a good one. Take care. The price is wrong, bitch. <laughs>